Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is 100 Words by Pars. Three word prompt for today, exhume, malinger, and step, as in, S as in you know, the planes, S-T-E-P-P-E. -E. Yeah, I know, I'm getting a look like, why are you picking those words? That's my job. And I know. Okay, you're know. Make, you're, you've upped your game. I have upped my game. This story is called The Bones of a Khan, K-H-A-N, which means king. From a distance, four, finger, four figures lazed around a campfire near the Anan River, relaxing. But malingering was mere pretense. In truth, these descendants of Genghis Khan had gathered to exhume the great king's bones. Mongolia would soon reclaim a piece of her heritage. Despite the tombs' location being lost to history, the first of the four had had a vision of a magnificent stallion riding across the steps, then resting here. The second had brought shovels. The third was cooking. The fourth's car was parked a few minutes away. They were waiting for nightfall but no one had brought flashlights. <laughs> I'm thinking this was like a long time ago and then you're like, and his car was parked. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Yes, according to legend, Genghis Khan did not want the location of his tomb to be known. So, he had 2,000 men transport his body and his goods and whatnot to the tomb location and they had there was like you know slaves and whatnot and anyways everyone who went there and who built the tomb and everything they all died everybody died so that no one knew the location of the tomb although I suppose you would kind of figure it out from the bones of 2,000 guys lying around I don't know that part of the story, but everyone died. So everyone who knew the location of the tomb was dead. And legend, like legend had it maybe that a river got diverted, the river Anan got diverted to run over his tomb. There's other legends that say that um, he didn't act, he wasn't actually in the casket or whatever it is that they use uh, to put into the tomb, that it was like his clothes and whatnot, but he was buried somewhere else. So, rumors and myths and whatnot abound regarding the location of Genghis Bones' last resting place. Up until someone had a dream of a stallion. So if you liked that story, maybe not just even my part, maybe all the history and whatnot besides, hit the like button and share and subscribe and come back tomorrow for another 100 word story by Mars. Bye.